Hello and welcome to A View for the North for the 2050 channel. I'm Terry A. Abbott. Boris Johnson has signed the Brexit trade agreement. It was signed earlier today by the European Union ministers and it was then shipped back over to the UK and Boris Johnson signed it. It passed through the Commons a few days ago and it's been signed off by the Queen. It now has to be signed off by the European Parliament on the 29th of January and that should be a foregone conclusion, they say. So on the 31st of January, we'll be gone. That'll be it. It'll be all over. No more EU. If you're a Brexit fan, yay. If you're not a Brexit fan, boo. We'll see what happens. We're not quite out of the EU yet. We've still got the regulations in place as we're in the transition period, which is a point now to make the trade deal with the EU. Now, whether or not we can get a comprehensive trade and services agreement between now and December is debatable but Boris Johnson wants us out by December question is would he actually leave if we was that close to having an agreement or would he maybe wait a month or two we'll see what happens on a lighter note the government have done something good for once Chris Skidmore the uh, sciences and university minister says that the UK will not adopt the article 13 copyright directive because we'll be outside of the EU when it comes into force in 2021. This is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. I thought it was an absolutely terrible idea to start off with. It was putting a lot of power into already powerful individuals. So this is a good thing as far as we're concerned. And I'm glad to see the back of it. And then we come to the Labour leadership campaign. Earlier this week, Jess Phillips pulled out. She couldn't get the support. And it's left four standing. Keir Starmer's through. Lisa Nandy's through. They're both through to the next round. They've got the backing of the unions they required to get to the next round. Keir Starmer has got Unison in his pocket, the biggest of the unions. He has got Usdor, the shop workers union. And he has got the Socialist Environmental and Resources Association in his back pocket. Lisa Nandy has the uh, GMB. She also has the MUN. That's the miners, of course. And she has Chinese Labour. It's up to Unite. If Unite vote for Rebecca Long Bailey, and it's not certain, mind you, they are happy, they were more happy with Corbyn, and they would like somebody who would follow that, then it would mean that Rebecca, Rebecca Long Bailey would have enough to join Kia Lisa at the top. Emily Formbury is struggling, and I think that she will have to drop out at some point in the near future. She's trailing far, far behind the others. In the opinion polls, she's 1%. I think Emily Formby's done for. Well, that's it for me for another View for the North. Uh, if you like what we do, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can visit the website. It's at www.clife2050.com. And if you like what we do, you can support us on Patreon. It supports this channel, the website, and the graphic novel that sits on the website. So until the next time, have a great one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.